Here I'm going to show you how to change text into numbers. So they're always going to look like numbers, but they might not be seen as numbers in Excel. And the problem with that is it's going to mess up analysis of the data, particularly when you want to go and sort it and put it into pivot tables and do other types of analysis on what looks like a number, but might not be seen as a number in Excel. Now there are many different ways to convert text as you see here into a number as you see here. And the method I'm going to show you here works when you want to keep your original column intact. You don't want to do anything with that, but you want to have additional helper columns that are going to process that. And then you want to make sure that the processed output is actually seen as a number, not as text. And here what we want to do is to get the day from a date. Now, before you say anything, yes, we can use the day function and do equals day grab the date, hit enter, and copy it down, and we are going to get the day as a number. But there are many times when it is not so simple, and the way to achieve this is to use a very simple function, and that is the number value function. But before we get to that function, let's go over here and get the day number as text, equals T-E-X-T, -E this, then D. It's on the left side for text, all you have to do is put number value around it. Number value like that, close up the parentheses, hit enter, and copy it down. And now you have numbers. And the nice thing about this is that everything is self-contained. And if in the future you do want to go here and add additional Ds, and you go and you add your Ds, you're going to see a value error. So you think, okay, I don't want to output a number. So maybe I just remove this guy and see if it works, and there you go. The number value function is very helpful, especially combined with the text function.